hello and in this tutorial I want to talk about snapping now what snapping allows us to do is perhaps more precisely position and align our objects so we'll start with a basic snapping tool and I'm just sort of sort of looking at component level manipulation here but you can equally apply all of these snapping tools to sorry to object manipulation but you can apply all these uh, snapping tools to component manipulation so you can apply these tools to vertexes edges and faces as well uh, as required so uh, we're, we're focusing on object manipulation here so um, here's um, a, a simple snapping tool uh, so your snapping tools are up here um, and your basic snapping tool is snap to grid so if we click on this and you'll see that what happens is it snaps uh, uh, to grid here so it snaps your uh, you can see it's snapping the cube to each of those grids okay now what you might notice is well if it was snapping to grid you kind of expect the edges to align properly well what's actually happening is it's not snapping the edges to the grid it's snapping this pivot point your anchor point or your pivot point to grid okay and then and then the rest of the object is obviously going to just move in relation to that pivot point okay so let's imagine I wanted to align the corner of this cube with the corner of this cube. Now I could zoom in and, and look at it through the orthogonal views, but if I want to actually properly align it, I can also use the snapping tools to help me do that. So the first thing I want to do is, because I want to align, I want this edge here to align with this edge here, then what I need to do is I need to move my pivot point onto this edge okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off grid snapping and I'm going to turn on snap to points okay now if I just grab snap to points kind of behaves a bit oddly if I just grab this snap to points in fact sorry um, uh, yeah um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to align the pivot point so I'm going to hold D down okay and I've got snap to points on and if I move this you can see it's going to align the point to each of these corners okay all right now I'm just going to undo that for a moment now that might be what we want and that's fine if that's not what you want it might be that actually what I want to do is align the pivot point to say uh, the middle of this surface well we already know it's in the middle of this cube so what I want to do is align it to this surface well what I could do is if I go snap to points but just do it in the one axis so I'm going to hold D down and rather than grab the middle I just do it in one axis you can see it's snapping to this point but it's only moving it it's only snapping in the one axis which means that it's now in line with this point here and on the middle of that surface so actually being able to use snap to points and just manipulating one axis at a time is also quite useful as well in this case let's just grab that we're going to go we've got snap to points on we're going to hold D down and we're just going to move snap it to this point here okay now we've done that what I can then do is grab this cube and you can see that I can align that point corner of the cube with any point on the other cube okay and now they're perfectly in line with each other so snap to points is a little bit of a tricky uh, snap tool but if you master it and you understand it it allow you to actually it's a very versatile and flexible alignment tool and a lot more flexible than just the uh, grid uh, uh, grid snapping tool so that's snapping